As a channel that has celebrated the strength of Sonic's character design in two of my most popular videos, it seems like a given that I'd have an opinion on the many leaks from the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog movie. So far, fan reaction to them have not been favourable, it's become the biggest meme in the Sonic community, officially and unofficially, and even Sega and original creator Yuji Naka have publicly explained their disdain for the movie's rendition of the character. I hadn't actually planned to give my opinion on this design yet, I was waiting for a trailer drop or some more actual official information, but given the sheer amount of references to it in the comments section, and the uh, fact that my recent Samus video has completely tanked, Hello darkness my old friend. Today seems like a good day to go down that furry and terrifying road. If you aren't in the loop by now, a number of leaks over the past few months have revealed Sonic's apparent new look. There have been proof of concept images, posters, promotional video screen grabs, and even fashion style guides. These have all been shared across the internet, and given that the only official poster shown features a silhouette of the design itself, it seems quite evident that Sonic's hidden makeover is being used as some kind of viral marketing strategy. Sure, it might be viral in the sense that what we're discovering is making us ill, but at the same time, they may also be low-key geniuses. It might not be the latter. Needless to say, today I'm going to run through each of the leaked designs and give a general consensus to how bad I really think these leaks are. First up is the proof of concept look, which would have likely been pitched to partners in early stages of the film's development. This is emphasised by the inclusion of Chris Pratt, who most definitely isn't in the movie. Maybe he was uh, steering clear. Here's Sonic, and he already looks far removed from both his classic and modern designs. To start with, he's fluffy, incredibly so, and reminds me instantly of the movie adaptations of Alvin and the Chipmunks. His arms are coated in a thick layer of this fur, and given that they have gone with blue arms in a similar style to Sonic Boom, it's even more controversial. The biggest change to the design is the change to Sonic's eyes, which have been scaled down from their previous massive size to aim for what I can only assume is a level of realism. Sonic also wears a pair of flat trainers, arguably the one thing I actually like about this design. But this won't last long. The next leak is an official poster that many have spotted at various cinemas, and it's what in my mind truly started the horrified outcry. Disgusting humanoid legs are obviously the key takeaway from this image in their long and muscular glory. What a sentence that was. I don't think people would ever associate this image with Sonic the Hedgehog if it wasn't for the clearly displayed logo on the poster. I do like that logo, I will admit. I'll also admit that I feel like I need to say at least one nice thing in the video. I'll also admit that this poster disturbs me immensely. I don't like the change in trainers. I understand from a realism perspective why you would swap from flat trainers to athletic ones. Don't want a scene where Sonic realistically has to remove his blisters. But again, I'm not sure why realism is the focus here. Sonic does have a tiny ring tied around his shoe though. I think that's a nice little touch lost amongst the rest of the horror. Do you know what isn't nice though? This screen grab from an apparent leaked promotional video. How unappealing is this aesthetic? I'm not one for judging things in motion by screenshots. I've explained in the past how this doesn't reflect some mediums fairly, but man, this looks horrendous. I did just judge this by a screenshot, so I'll hang my hypocritical head in shame and swiftly move on. The most recent leaks include the Sonic the Hedgehog style guide and an image that appears like a leaked render from some actual movie footage. Starting with the style guide, this feels like a cleaned up version of the earlier proof of concept and reveals some more changes to the character. Sonic's famous gloves are no more, now being replaced by white fur. He can wear realistic shoes, but not gloves. Solid logic. Who is making these bizarre rules? Could Nike not come up with white gloves for him to wear? Speaking of Nike, Sonic's trainers are unsurprisingly rocking their logo, and unless this is a document pitching some kind of partnership, I'd say it's a given that they'll be sponsored across the movie and merchandise. It's a shame they couldn't find a way to make these look more like his classic trainers. Remember that authentic live-action Bobomb experience we got sponsored by Reebok? 
<sighs> of course you don't. Looking at Sonic's render, I think this does look slightly better than the rest of the leaked images, but the whole look still makes me feel a bit gross. It really appears that they have tried to give Sonic an athletic build. It again leads back to this realism idea and that his body must reflect the superhero way in which he moves. Comparing this look with the established designs, you can see some similarities. I certainly do think this could look worse than it does, especially given that we've not seen how it looks during movement on screen yet, but the drastic changes to the eyes I think are the sticking point for most people, and I completely agree with them. Realism again is what brings down this design. Sonic's eyes don't need to look like this, and I think they could have given what is essentially a classic cartoon character a bit more of a cartoon style feel. There are many others who feel this way too, and many of them have taken it upon themselves to try and redesign some of these looks to be more authentic. By no means do I think these are the perfect changes, but come on Paramount. I've touched on this in previous videos, but Sonic's core strength has always been his design. There must be a way to make this look better. Look at Detective Pikachu for example. This character looks like a realistic version of the classic character. I don't get why they couldn't do this as well here. I just know one thing coming out of this, if Sonic has caused this much of an uproar, I can't wait to see Jim Carrey as Eggman. Sonic 06 was horrifying enough, what on earth is he going to look like here? Things aren't looking too good for the Sonic movie, all things considered given these leaks, but I still sit here with an open mind. The lack of trailer is a little bit alarming at this stage given the title is releasing this year. Who releases a teaser poster versus a teaser trailer? Carey has also been involved in jokes surrounding the project at awards ceremonies. You know, uh, uh, I just finished a film. It's called Sonic the Hedgehog. Comes out in November. Oh, well, you know, come back next year. I'm sure it'll be nominated. But I guess any press is better than none at all. I am a big fan of Ben Schwartz and think he will give a great performance. I also think there is potential for good writing and a few surprises. And I know for a fact, as soon as that trailer drops, I'll be doing my best to come out with a quick reaction. Because I am way too invested in how this blue hedgehog is going to look on the big screen. Now, as always, the comments section is one of the best reasons for me making these videos. So do let me know, as always, what you think of the design too. What changes would you like to see made to this design or are you happy with how it's looking? At this time I want to say a massive thank you to my first set of patrons who are now supporting the channel on a monthly basis. With a special thanks to Top Hat Gaming Man and Aidan Briggs who are both supporting me in the highest tier of donations. If you'd like to see your name in the credits too, as well as receiving other perks, please consider becoming a patron too. Besides subscribing, it's the best way you can help me to continue to put out videos like these. Thanks very much.